Hello, my name is Elena Cornelius, and I'll be talking to you today about the method of moments for uh, Lost Models 2 class. And this presentation is brought to you by Andrew Dunkel, Elena Cornelius, and Shane Kelly. I look forward to uh, talking to you all about method of moments, and let's get started. Uh, so for introduction, the method of moments estimator is used to estimate the parameters of a distribution. Um, and we use this when we assume that a population follows some certain distribution, but the parameters of that distribution are unknown. And for our class purposes, we usually have one to two unknown uh, parameters, but um, this can also be used to solve for more, um, but we will mostly be looking at one to two. So method of moments is often um, shortened to mom, and this estimate is found by setting the formula of the kth raw moment of the distribution equal to the empirical estimate of the kth raw moment. And then after you've set those two equal to each other, you then solve for the unknown parameters or parameter. Um, so that might be a little wordy. So the to clarify, the empirical estimate for the kth raw moment um, is calculated from a sample that is drawn. Um, so it's really nice about the method of moments is that um, the process can easily kind of be broken down into different steps, um, which doesn't happen a lot in math, which is really nice that we're able to um, kind of step by step work through this process and apply it to different problems that we'll see throughout our class. Um, so step one is to assume that a population of interest follows some distribution, but leaves some parameters unknown, like we talked about usually one or two. Um, so step two is to draw from the population in which you're observing to get a sample. Um, and step three is kind of the meat of the whole process, like we had talked about before in the previous slide, and that is to set the k thrall moment of the assumed distribution equal to the empirical estimate of the same uh, k thrall moment. Um, so that's a little wordy. So what we have is the uh, um, formulas listed below. So typically start by setting the formula of the first raw moment and then go from there to the second, third, whatever you need. Um, depending on how many unknown parameters you have, um, which will be uh, illustrated a little better in our examples that we have um, coming up soon. So keep setting these formulas equal to each other until the number of equations uh, equals the number of unknown parameters. So if we only have one unknown parameter, then we only have to do the first raw moment um, to the empirical uh, mean. And then the final step of this process is to solve the system of equations for the unknown parameters. So let's start with example one, which will be um, one unknown parameter or un one unknown variable. So the question is, our, suppose our population is Poisson with lambda is unknown. So therefore we draw from the sample um, 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and 42. Um, and then we are asked to determine the method of moments estimate for lambda. So just a few notes before a step-by-step -step move through the uh, example of this um, problem. Uh, a few notes are that lambda is the only unknown parameter in this problem. So we need to set the formula for the first row moment equal to each other. Um, so if we know from the back of our book and just from uh, the distributions that we commonly use in this class, um, the expectation of x is equal to lambda. Um, so that's really helpful for this problem is that uh, it's really straightforward. So for our first example solution, we're going to start off by setting our expectation of x equal to our sample mean. Um, so to solve for the sample mean, we're going to do 1 over n times the sum of our xj's, and then we will get um, lambda, which we know is the expectation of x um, because of the Poisson distribution that we talked about on our previous slide, and set that equal to um, the sample mean there. And to solve for the sample mean, we take um, the draws that we observed, which is 4 plus 8 plus 15 plus 16 plus 23 plus 42, all over 6, which is the total number of draws that we took. And then we solve for that and we get that lambda hat equals 18. So we put this little hat on top of the lambda to show that it is an estimation. And we will be doing that throughout the rest of our presentation and slide here, um, just to let everyone know that that is an uh, estimation of that parameter. 
So moving on to our second example where we have two unknown variables, we will um, have to set up two different equations. And so we're going to start off with our question, which is now we assume our sample follows a gamma distribution with alpha and theta being unknown. Um, so we use the same sample from previous example um, to determine the method of moments estimators for both of these different variables, alpha and lambda, or alpha and theta, my bad. So just another note is that now that we have two unknown parameters, we need to set the formulas for the first and second row moments equal to each other and then solve the systems of equations to get both of our uh, unknown variables there. And um, this information that could be found in the back of the book or um, just if you know the distributions well, you know that the expectation of x is equal to alpha times theta and um, the expectation of x squared is equal to alpha times alpha plus one times theta squared. So for example two, the solution that we are going to start off with a similar process that we used um, in example one with the one parameter. Um, so to start, we are going to do the expectation of x equal to um, one over n times the sum of our xj's. Um, and so we know from the gamma distribution that our expectation of x is equal to alpha times theta, and we're going to set that equal to 18, which is uh, what we found in the example one to be um, our sample mean. Um, so the next step would be to solve for the second raw moment um, for our gamma distribution and set that equal to one over n times the sum of our xj squared. Um, so using the same formula that we had on the previous slide, we know that the second moment for the gamma distribution is equal to alpha times alpha plus one times theta squared. We're going to um, do the uh, sample um, that we had and square those terms all over the total number of samples that we had, which is six. And so that will equal 1,427 over three. Um, and to solve the systems of equation, the easiest way to do that is to um, do the expectation of x squared over the expectation of x quantity squared. Um, so we will get terms to cancel out and the resulting um, formula will be alpha plus one over alpha. And that is equal to um, 1,427 over 3 over 18 squared. Um, and by solving for alpha, we are able to get the alpha hat um, is equal to 2.1363. And again, that is an estimation um, of the alpha variable. So that's why we add the little hat on top of the variable. Um, so the easiest way then to solve for theta is to plug that um, estimated alpha value into um, the equation that we have on our second line here on the slide of alpha times theta equals 18. Um, plug in that alpha hat into there and solve for theta. Um, so we will get theta hat is equal to 8.4259. Um, so this concludes um, the solution for our second example here with a two parameter unknown uh, method of moments estimation. I hope that we were able to kind of tie up any questions that you had about the method of moments and um, easily step through the process that it takes to understand these estimations um, and provide a couple of examples that will help you uh, with homework problems or any other time in class that we need to do this process. I've really enjoyed uh, talking here today and I hope you guys learned something. Um, thanks for listening. Bye.